Hey everybody, it's time for Saturday Scribbles, and today I'll be drawing a very simple, laid-back um, Halloween wreath, and I'm doing it in ink in honor of Inktober, which is almost over, and that's crazy because I feel like October just started, but this wreath is, again, very simple to draw. You can put whatever your favorite symbols are in there. I chose some pumpkins, some ghosts, a bat. I attempted a skull, didn't turn out well, covered it up. <laughs> and the witches had different things that remind me of the season and make me happy. And the trick is, when you're drawing the branches, if you want it to look like mine, you just go in carelessly. I don't know how else to describe it. You. You just flick your wrist, and then you make little branches by making little Y's or little W's, depending on how you want it to look. But the key is that you just flick your wrist, and then you can thicken it near the bottom of, of your branch, or twig, or whatever you want to call it. And you can have different twigs or branches coming out of the same area, which will also darken it, and then um, you just, if you want it to look this way, it looks very spindly, looks very barren, very end of October, beginning of November, all the leaves are gone <laughs> kind of look, but if you want to practice beforehand, just practice lightly or with medium pressure, flicking your wrist with the um, pen or pencil in your hand and seeing how things look. So I really liked the little sheet ghosts that I drew. They, at first I was going to do transparent ghosts and show the branches going through, but that seemed too complicated, <laughs> so I tried to think of like sheet ghosts from Scooby-Doo, like the original Scooby-Doo, you know, Scooby-Doo, where are you? The good stuff, 1970s, <laughs> and just tried to go based off of that a little bit for the facial expressions. And then for the witch's hat, I was originally just going to have the hat floating up there, but then I thought, no, like how wicked would it be? if the branch was going through the hat, and then the hat had a little patch on it. Maybe this has happened before, where the hat got caught in the branches, because, you know, like in real life with real drivers, you know, not all witches can be the best flyers. There's going to be some accidents. <laughs> so, I just kind of skewered it a little bit. And you can go in, you can do the, if you don't want to do Inktober, or really even if you do because there are colored inks out there, you can do all kinds of colors with this. You could make the branches brown, you could add fall colored leaves, you could, you know, you could paint the center of the wreath a certain color or different colors. Possibilities, guys, they're endless. <laughs> Again, mine is just very simple, just to give you an idea and get you started on what you could do. So don't let mine be the, the end all. Definitely go in and do your own thing. And just so you know, if you're doing the fall challenge, which I sincerely hope you are, it's almost over. But for this video, you can use the code bonfire. B O N F I R E Bonfire. And for my wreath, I wanted to just have a little saying in the middle, a little quote, not really a quote, a little phrase. And I chose happy haunting <laughs> because, you know, tis the season. And I don't have a calligraphy pen. And so I just went in and I got the font just by googling calligraphy font. 
Um, but anyway, I went in and I found the font that I wanted and was inspired by that. And then for all of the downstrokes, I just made the lines really thick and kept the upstrokes and thin. And I really liked the style. Yep, there goes his tail. I really liked the style that it had. And it's kind of, you know, just kind of fun, kind of cute. <laughs> but you can do whatever calligraphy style you want, or you can put something else in the center, or not have anything in the center. And for those of you who might notice, like, oh my gosh, it's not completely centered. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not very good at centering words within things, but I did my best. And this just proves that you can still have something that's nice looking. It doesn't have to be perfect. And it can still be relaxing to do. And it doesn't have to take all day. Speaking of which, this whole project took me about 20 minutes. And that's just because I thought of everything on the spot. <laughs> so if you have an idea of what you want to do going in, then it may not take you as long. But for me, I kept having to pause and think, like, oh, what am, what am I going to do here? What is this going to be? How do I want the shape? So that's just something to keep in mind. And then I just went in and added magical little sparkles because there needs to be magical sparkles. <laughs> Maybe not in your piece, but my piece needs it. And then here is the final product. I really like the way my spider web came out. I like how it has the little tendrils of web floating in the wind. And my bat's very surprised. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Happy haunting, and I'll see you guys next week. <laughs>